Hi everyone. You absolutely, you absolutely hold a big orb in Chrono Trigger at a couple points. I don't remember. I think Marl and Luca have a big orb holding move, and maybe also Marl and Chrono. There's definitely a big orb holding attack. So Chrono Trigger is porn, is what I'm saying. That's gonna make no fucking sense to anyone watching the VOD. We'll just, we'll just leave it that way. How's everyone doing? It's, uh, it's me, Alice, and I'm gonna play Griftlands for you tonight. I see Bad Road and Christy and Mox and Alma. How's, how, how are y'all? Wait a sec, isn't this supposed to be in full screen? Isn't this supposed to actually be showing up on the stream, too? Did the game just crash? I think the game crashed. Okay, good. Yep, the game is frozen, everyone. Gaston, don't do that. Alright, let's try running it again. We barely got enough of the chat on screen to give future viewers some context. That's good. All right, let's try this again. Hi, everyone. <laughs> We're going to play Griftlands for real. Oh, no, it's doing it again. So apparently we're not going to play Griftlands. This is weird. Oh, there it goes. It works this time. It just took a weirdly long time. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. <laughs> All right. Let's get this party started. So we accessed this fella, Albert. And we still haven't unlocked anything from Sal Eek Derek. We have completed 20% of, I guess, day two, or maybe the entire campaign. All right, here, here, here we go. The fuck is this? We're in a different bar, right? Um, I guess we gotta go look for stuff to do, huh? Recon in force. Alright, a recent fight took place here. Maybe there's still some treasure. There's a challenging quest over here. Over here we got... Uh, Shell is feeling friendly. Spending time with her will get us resolve, but we already have. Resolve, but it'll also make Shell like us more. I think this is probably the better opportunity right now. You come across the signs of a recent battle. If there were any winners, they weren't the type to loot the battlefield. The bodies are still fresh. Best to grab something and run before any beasts are drawn to the bloodshed. Um, ooh, a dark cowl. Another battle graft. I think we've still got space for another battle graft, don't we? View grafts, there we go. Yeah, we've still got two more spaces. Um... Dark Cowl. Combo points are accumulated until they're spent by a finisher. Oh, start the start battles with three combo. When this card is drawn, draw another card. And then destroy. And Vial of Slurry. Card is drawn, draw another card permanently. Gain an action and replenish. Summons a combat drone to fight. Okay, let's try and pull the dark cowl and get into a fight with some dogs, I guess. 
Dark Cowl installed. You wrestle with the loot lodged in the mud, even as a mournful howl cuts through the air. It isn't long before you're joined by the pack. Let's defend yourself. Let's see. Well, about to take a bunch of damage. And this is the weakest one. So I guess we want to take it out quickly. And this costs zero actions. And... Still not gonna be enough to take it out, huh? Well, that wasn't good. Alright, now we're gonna take just a bunch of fucking damage. I thought we were supposed to have four actions, though. It's only powering us up to three. Did we lose the thing that... Gain one combo. I guess we don't have a thing that gives us the extra action anymore. Or was that only for... Hmm. Was that only for social? There we go. Why am I still going to take damage three times? Also, not drawing a lot of defensive stuff. Probably because I need more defensive stuff or less attacking stuff in my deck. Hi there, clever retort not found. Glad he could join us. Thanks for coming to check us out. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I'm already losing at this. Got assault. All right, that's good at least. And that doesn't do any good. Oh no, acidic slime. That's not ideal at all. Slime puppies, or sluppies. Yeah, I definitely need to rethink my deck as, you know, having more defense. Alright. Stab and stomp. Discard a card, draw a card. Okay. 
That makes it slightly stronger, but makes you discard a card. I don't like the upgrade system. It's a little too random. Um, upgraded stomp. Four. So always do six damage or do four to nine. I think I prefer four to nine. Gain actions equal to its cost plus one. That goes piercing, which ignores defense. Improvise a random common or uncommon maneuver card. It costs zero until played. I don't like these ones to put random stuff in my hand. The bodies are growing ripe, and more scavengers are sure to be on their way. Best to cut while you're ahead. Four to nine is an extra half damage, but not sure I'd value that over consistency. I like my random numbers, though. Yeah, let's go to the Hesh Outpost. You're stopped along the road by an Admiralty patrol, swinging their batons with some showmanship. Ah, here comes trouble. There's a pompous curl to her lip that suggests you're in for a heap of trouble. Best watch yourself. Last review, my supervisor said my technique was rusty. Rusty! Can you believe it? He assigns me to the boondocks every damn day for years, then says I can't get a promotion because I can't fight as well as an officer. That's, uh, rough? Yeah, thanks for saying so. And for agreeing to help me out. I didn't say Rook draws her weapon with a purposeful glint in her eye. Oh. Oh, hash. Well, we may just die here. Because I did not set up my deck that well yesterday. Let's see. How about this? Assault? And then we can jump 8 bleed. Or, or, it only played it once. What was the point of my assault? Well, that's annoying. Alright, I was at least able to block everything. damage coming at me this turn. That's good. Do footwork. Since there's no damage coming at me, I can discard that. And elbow strike. I guess apply defense. Which she's also doing. Also, she's wounded, I guess. Alright. And 
And yeah, we're just gonna take full damage from this. That's all right, at least we'll know for the next time we start a, a uh, campaign. Deal two bonus damage if you have any combo, gain two combo, spend. At least we've got some free attacks here. I guess gain some combo. And again, anytime I have defense cards in my hand, she's not attacking. So that's unfortunate. Sal's Daggers. Gouge, apply three bleed or five bleed. Versus combo daggers. Spend two combo to deal two bonus damage and hit all enemies. Or attack twice and gain two combo. Alright, well since we're doing combo primarily, we'll do that. Spend two combo, this card costs zero, spend two combo, okay, we're gonna go with boosted stomp again. Fuck consistency. Yeah, she was tough. Draw a card, discard a card, if this card is improvised it costs zero until the end of the turn. Add a copy of this card to your discard. Okay, that's cute. Spend two combo and draw a card. I mean, I don't really want any of these. You leave before anyone decides you're worth a fight after all. And all the way back to the hash out. Right, that costs 5 HP, which I don't want to do. That only restores with, uh, that only restores, okay. So we're not doing anything here for now. If we need to restore resolve later, we can go back there. See, we've got enough shills that I think we can maybe afford some defensive cards. A motley of opportunists have gathered here looking for an honest day's work. Prices vary, but so does skill. Hey, it's it's heft and shake. What brings you back? 250 shills, Jesus. The labor rubs his elbows like it's been 10 years since they ran out of grease. Another day in the feud, eh? He costs 150. Well, no, no, we're not doing that. All sound like they're combat related. Battle on negotiation. Battle only. Battle only. Well, this sucks. The one that's hardest is the only one that has negotiation involved. The road ahead is blocked by a group of Admiralty officers. There's cops everywhere. Hold it. This here's a toll road. Yes, yeah, since when? Since the ink spitters up at headquarters said so. Toll's 50 shills. Ugh. 50 shills? Do I look like I'm made of shills? You want to use the road, you gotta pay. 
Doesn't matter what you look like, I'm not prejudiced. What if I don't want to use the road? <laughs> Alright. He's gonna do four damage. Uh, sure. Think of it this way. Apply to Composure. And one Influence. Inval oh, right. That's used against her. I keep forgetting. It's because it's doing the damage. What happened to that nice girl we had? She only charged us like 10 shills to fight some sort of bog asshole. <laughs> yeah, I liked her. Damage of the next card played this turn is doubled. I sure I'm glad I have cards that do damage. Should have looked at all my cards before fucking up. Planted evidence. Over here we got targets an opponent's argument each turn for two to five damage. Let's see. There we go. Do I have anything that'll add more composure? Oh, yes, I do. Excellent. Deal damage equal to half of your influence to random opponent argument. There we go. All right. I see you're as sharp as you are charming. Thank you, Bad Road. Double composure on all arguments. Hmm. That's fine. That's right, you can't touch my arguments. No, but like, for real, you can't fucking touch them. Much better at the debate part. In awe at the strength of these arguments. Apply two composure to a random argument. Increase by one for each card played this turn. Either flatter, compliment, or attitude. Right, that's that one again. Additional four damage. There we go. Matter compliment. Right. And this will do it. Negotiation upgrades. Keep cool. Double composure on all arguments and is sticky. It's not discarded at the end of your turn. 
or apply three composure, then double composure on all arguments. Sweet. Quick thinking, improvise, plus a card. So that gives me five options. Or improvise upgraded special cards. Second wind. Visionary wind and pale wind. Very nice. Gain one action for every three cards in your discard. Cost zero. Which is great. Yeah, that's that's extra great. A really good card to have cost zero. Apply two composure to all arguments. Let's do it. What if I just stepped a little bit over there, off the path, into the trees? What, in the brush? There's bugs and stuff in there. Terrifying. Will I have to pay the toll then? Huh. I guess if I can't see you, then you never really crossed. And it saves me some paperwork besides. Tima looks the other way while you slink into the trees. You travel through the brush for a spell before coming back onto the main road. You check yourself over and find a cuddle beetle, tr beetle trying to lay its egg sac inside the cuff of your sleeve. Ugh. You wipe the slime out as best you can and keep going. Beetle slime! Beetle slime, beetle slime, beetle slime! Cuddly beetle slime, exactly. I like how most collectible card games start at the very start off very broken and then try to hone in on something that's very balanced. But Griftland starts very balanced and then just wants you to find new and exciting ways to break the fuck out of it. That's my favorite stuff. That was why I had one of the highest uh, DPS characters in Champions Online, because I like breaking the system. Bureaucratic incompetence. Two words that I cannot spell right. All right, let's uh, see if we can buy some some good cards. Oh, she's just got expendables. You Darno, I hear you're looking to hire for a hunter for a job. Really? What strange providence! I do indeed need some hunting done. Piku stole something from me, then crawled under a rock to hide, likely hoping I'd grow forgetful. I take it you haven't. It's been three years, so I'd say not. Time to have my revenge, I think. Wait, you waited three years? You don't even seem all that mad anymore. Yeah, she'll never see it coming. <laughs> That's lovely. Three years is a... Oh. Bring her to me, there's a bonus if she's alive. Three years is a long time to sniff out a lead. Fortunately, Hiku stinks. Go find Ash, maybe you can get something out of him. It's been three years since you looked at me. Let's stop off at the Grog and Dog. It's also where we needed to go, so. Uh, um, eat one of Fish's famous fish cakes. Oh, shit. 20 shill surcharge from bad credit. But 25% discount. How do we have bad credit? I guess that's from, uh, oh right, that's because someone hated us and they're a banker. All right there, Sal, I'm hurt, fish. Here, have a fish cake. Thanks. Oh, that's terrible. Nobody eats them for the taste, that's for sure. Well met, Sal. What's that look about? I'll be straight with you. I'm only here because I'm looking for Hiku. You know anything about where she might be? Might do? Mightn't too. None of your business either way. <laughs> we got people in the bar who will help us though. 
Um, we can bribe him. Cost 50 shells to do it. I don't think we need to do that, though. No need for hardball, pal. I just want to talk to her, that's all. You can trust Sal. I'll vouch for you, Sal. Alright. So he's gonna try and do three damage. So we'll do Pale Calm. It's free. And one influence to deal an additional four damage. That sounds good. Drunk. When destroyed, remove a random intent from Ash. And this one is flustered. Reduces damage by 33%, reduced by one at the end of Ash's turn. Uh, Lucid Deflection, again, it's fine. Don't have any more attacks, really. Good. Um, let's... Let's just raise our composure as much as possible, then. Just cuz. Yeah, look at that shit. Look at that shit. You ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna do shit. What are you gonna do, mumble at me? Escalation increases count when a hostility card is played, adds one damage to all intents. Gotcha. Let's just do this real quick. a card from a pool of special oh there we go free composure zero to six damage and expend or gain two bonus actions next turn sure Yeah, what you gonna do? Nothing. What a jerk. Let's see. So, evil eye. Knock that out. It was becoming annoying. Oh wait, he's doing it. Oh, that's fine. Yeah! Draw two cards and upgrade them. Lose one. Yeah, again, I don't need any of these either. I've got good news, actually. Big windfall. You wouldn't want to stand in the way of that, would ya? A windfall? Hmm, Hiku's hiding out at a campsite. I'll mark it for you. Maybe the ingrate will see fit to share some of that good fortune. Why, she just might. Alright, here we go. A mysterious figure approaches you. 
Bonapartita. Greetings, Grifter. It's rare I meet a fellow traveler in these parts. Really? I feel like I'm constantly running into people. Then you're fortunate. The isolation's made it difficult to complete my work. I'm a chemist. I've been experimenting with new ingredients, but I've only been able to test them on myself. Would you like to try one and contribute your own experiences to the data? I think it's cool that we lied to our friends so that we could beat up someone for money, right? It's just the best. Um, Should we try the murky green vial, the blue vial, the orange vial, or the swirling purple vial? One's murky, one's smoking, one's bubbling, and one's swirling. The purple vial costs money, so I think that's the one we should do. Things always are things are always better if they cost money, right? Smoking blue is my whole brand. I don't know. I mean, we can do the smoking blue, but this one, this one he's charging for. It has to be good. That blue one looks spicy. Oh yes, this is an unusual blend of three rare Havarian essences. On their own, each is more toxic than the last. But together, they're a stimulating form of gastrotherapy. I assume that means it won't kill me? Correct. Ugh, the flavor. Not all gastrotherapy is pleasant, of course. And now we can choose a card to upgrade. How about one of these evil eyes? Ooh. Well, this cut makes it cost zero. I like that. I like anything that costs zero. Zimmon quickly jots down a note after watching your reaction. Thank you for your participation. I hope we meet again soon. A follow-up can only improve upon the data. Uh, sure. Hey, this was safe, right? I'm fairly confident, but of course, only time will truly tell. The mysterious figure leaves us silently as he arrived. After a moment, he disappears from view. Huh. Gotten some good ones, Bad Road. You find the camp, though it looks as if it's seen better days. Iku looks as downtrodden as the campground. Iku, I presume? Fans, what's it to ya? I've got something real special for whoever owns that name. Iku's hand twitches toward her weapon. He's rough and tumble. Hold on, it ain't bad news, friend. You got an inheritance, even. Your great-great-grandparent Atticus has died and left you everything. My great-great-what? All right, starting right out, trying to do six damage. Apply three composure, then double composure on all arguments. Perfect. So it's all... Well, this is useless. We're doing this shit again, y'all. Visionary fast talk. F3 vulner. Oh, right, that's on opponent. There we go, there's six. Well, we're able to block, at least. Uh, 
There's some actions. Um. And I take a little damage as a treat. Let me tell you something. She's very suspicious, I think. Intense and arguments deploy with plus two damage. That's invulnerable, so that's not great. Shit, I was supposed to use that one. Oh well. Oh no, what Google search was this? Oh my god. What is this? Holy shit. Well, at least some of it's on that. It. This is gonna hurt a lot. Ugh. He just keeps getting stronger. by one for each card play. Right. Alright, we're at least not taking more damage this turn. Good lord! I'm not sure I'm ready for this game. Holy shit. God. Alright, if I can just do that one more damage. Oh, 
just barely. Ooh, we can actually choose where that goes if we make it focused. Or we can double the bonus. I think I'd like to be able to focus it. Attack a random enemy argument. Evoke. Play four hostility. Okay, we don't use hostility very much. Eh. Thousands of shills, actually, ready to be claimed by the only known heir, Hiku Masi. That's you, right? Masi, that ain't my... I mean, yeah, Hiku Masi, that's me. Absolutely devastated that grandparent Atticus is dead. Hiku follows behind, trying and failing to keep the skip out of her step. All right. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna die in a sack, huh? Maybe there'll be someone friendly here. Hello again. Here you go, one Hiku coming in hot. Ha, huh, this'll be good. What the? Derno, what the hell? Thought I'd forgotten about what you stole, huh? Thought I'd let it slide. Well, surprise, slug sucker. What I stole, you... Oh, the dang pickled talons? There were only two left in the whole jar. I was saving them, and I was hungry. You're gonna pay, you rotten thief. I don't mean to interrupt, but... Yeah, yeah, you did your part and delivered this traitor. Here, take your payment and bonus besides. I'll deal with her. Uh-huh, good luck with that. Hiku hates you. You've incurred her fury and will likely face the consequences. Status cards cost an additional one action. Oh my god. You get paid a hundred chills. Duplicate the first argument you create ever in every negotiation. Your first attack each battle applies three wounds, sure. As you walk away, you hear the first punch land, but it's none of your business now. Oh my god. This game. Yeah, but it's the principle of the thing. And we've already performed at the uh, an action at the outpost today, apparently. Why couldn't I go down this road? You come across the remains of an unfortunate traveler. Whatever attacked him took the flesh, but left the wealth. Something interesting pokes out from under the corpse. Of course, whatever did this might still be around. You gather up what you can find, you'll have to study a little more closely when it's safe. You leave in a hurry, not wanting to push your luck. I knew I'd see you again. Nothing quite as thrilling as the taste of your own blood in your mouth, huh? I can think of a few things. You say that, but here you are. She's got a point. Um... Zoasakopa. 
All right, let's start removing some of these uh, non-combo, non-defense cards. Like that, for instance. <clears throat> oh, are you serious? You have to wait a day? Well, that was a waste. Yeah, there's nothing I need here either. What about you? Frolic of the beasts. What's that? This is an urchin. Native to the Grout Bog, these walking mouths reproduce faster than any other species in Havaria. Uh, it costs 95 shills. There's a 20 shill sur surcharge, and apparently he doesn't like me very much. But he liked me. Try not to break it, alright? Upgrade. Can you improve it? Yeah, I think I can. Try not to listen as Frolic of the Beasts gets to work. Finally, they emerge. The untrained urchin looks healthy, if a bit wary. There you go! Better than new! Well, good. I sure am glad we have that. Head to the Grogan dog and die horribly. Fish contorts her mouth into a facsimile of a smile as you approach. How'd it go? You and Naden get all riled up by your hatred of the Admiralty? Mostly he just seems like an opportunist to me. Yeah, well, I'm glad you found each other. There's opportunities aplenty for a crook like him and an arm like yours. It's getting late. Anything you need to do before you turn in? Time to hit the sack. Say, someone came in looking for you earlier. They didn't look friendly. Maybe you sleep with an eye open tonight, huh? Asking after me what they want. Said they wanted to hire you, but if you ask me, they look like trouble. I sent him packing. Said you were out on the road and wouldn't be back for days. Still, I got my blades under the bar if we need them. Wish I'd been here sooner yesterday. I'd like to have seen you give Cassio a walloping. You mean get walled by Cassio, more like. I ain't as young as I used to be, Sal. I've been gone a long time. And Cassio, well, she could have laid me out in our youth all the same. Should I be worried? You were the one who taught me how to fight. What, you rewriting history? Cassio taught you too. You know her moves better than she knows yours. You got this. Huh. But remind me later to teach you a different way to throw a punch. I taught you when you were little, of course, but I'm feeling it now. Maybe that technique wasn't so good for longevity. I don't really expect it to make it to your age, anyway. <laughs> you hessian better. I'll take my chances. Fish steps aside and you head down to your room for the night. Something's not right. I disagree. Look at our little friend. Everything is right with the world. In the dim light, some of the shadows look darker than usual. Hi, Xenon. Who's there? A figure steps out of the shadows, heavily armed, and also dressed like a cyborg version of the Scream. If it thinks like an assassin and slinks like an assassin... Sashapu. 
Let's see, you have first strike and a bonus action on this turn. You're in an isolated location and can get away with murder here. Ooh. But we cannot escape. Get set! Ooh. Can't be played. Do we have anything that allows us to discard? Doesn't look like it. There we go. Lower that damage. Hmm, he puts two more on me. We're into the deck. Okay, at least they're not directly into my hand. Alright, doing good here. Don't you dare attack my little buddy. I'm gonna call him Superfly. This motherfucker right here. Alright, he's not attacking this turn. Should we kill him? Like, he's just the messenger, right? I feel like if we keep him alive, we can question him. I like to find out what the hell's going on. <laughs> if we kill him, we're sort of also a messenger. That's true. You think they'll stick around? I mean, yeah, we've got him on the ropes. Look at him, he's not going anywhere. He's got sparklies and a white flag just floating over his head. I do seem to have two votes for cold-blooded murder, though. Mercy, all right. Ooh, battle upgrade available for stab. Strain Stab, discard a card. Or, Piercing Stab, Stab of the Nail. Why do I have two daggers? Well, I have two hands, don't I? <laughs> That's good flavor text. See, this is useful in very specific situations, but it could be frustrating in others. Eh, why not? Pick a new battle card. Whenever you play a card, gain one defense. Yes. Whenever you play a diplomacy card, apply two composure to a random argument. Yes. Fish charges into the room, moving spryly for a Kradeshi her age. Her jaw locks when she sees the mess. That's the stranger I told you about. You all right, kid? Cassio sent him. Typical Cassio, leaving others to clean up her mess. Anbi will like you. Ooh. Go back to Cassio and tell her this only whets my appetite. It's your funeral. Even if it's been postponed. 
Anbi leaves by the door, but you make a note to reinforce the barricades on all the windows. I gotta say, kid, this seems like a bad idea. Just imagine the look on Cassio's face when she finds out her assassin failed. Sure, satisfying, I just hope this don't come back to haunt us. Now I gotta go back to booby trap in the bar in earnest. Hey, Rez. Fish stands guard by your door for the rest of the night, leaving you to catch up on your shut-eye. At the start of your turn, reduce the cost of a random card in your hand by one until played. Or gain one action at the start of your turn and enemies no longer surrender. Ooh. No, don't want that. I mean, this is a this is this is similar. Oh, we don't have any room for another. In one combo at the beginning of your turn. I can't see the one at the bottom. There we go. All right, we'll do this one. You spend time slapping together some makeshift security. If anyone comes through the windows now, you'll know about it. Your bed calls to you. Your folks used to talk about freedom like it was a town, one you could move to with enough money for the road. Now you're not so sure. Ash now loves us. Got four people who like us. Um, Ulo dislikes us. And Hiku despises us. When you wake up, you'd almost think the grog is beginning to look homey. If you hadn't almost been murdered in it. You find fish behind the bar, rigging the bar top to snap with el with electricity. Turns off the current as you approach. You know customers drink at this bar, right? Customers ain't got nothing to worry about, but no more assassins on my watch, that's a guarantee. This'll take a while to set up, so why don't you go bother Naden? See what you can get cl see what you can do to get closer to Cassio. I'll have a job for you later if you're interested. She turns back to her bar and flips the switch. Clearly, you've been dismissed. We did drag them out of their camp to get punched for taking some pickles three years ago. Yep. Yes, Riz. I'm glad you got it. I'm glad you got the joke. Uh, let's see, meat market, hash outpost we don't need right now. Maiden has another special mission. Let's go do his dirty work. All right, Jonah Hacks. Well, Naden, what extra legal shenanigans do you want me to get up to today? Don't know if I appreciate you making light of the work we do here, but as long as you get the job done, I guess I can't complain. I got two jobs for you today. Pick the one where you'd be most effective. An inconvenience. Dana was loyal to, loyal to the Admiralty and good at her job. That's a problem for the spree, so they've asked you to remove Dano from her position one way or another. Or wounded animals. The spree used hit and run tactics to cripple an Admiralty patrol. The survivors are stranded in a field and waiting for backup. Get there first and finish them off. The graft for either one. This one pays a little bit better. This one allows us to negotiate if necessary. So we'll do this one. You know, I'm happy to work with the Admiralty that can be brought to heal, but Dano has proven stubborn. Yeah, sure. Dano's got influence that's useful to me, so I want her under my thumb where she belongs. You're not my usual witless goon. Figure it out, Hunter. That's an order from your commander.
I like that too. Most of the time, we don't have to punch our way out of out of trouble. <laughs> Mission received. I'll see you when the job's done. I've heard some rumors that Naden isn't all too pleased with Dano and is planning to make some changes. Well, that's an interesting rumor. I was just thinking that maybe Naden would want someone reliable to take their place, and then maybe you could help out a friend. We could go take care of Dano together, and I'll take over for him. Hmm. Sure. Can always use some help. Can always use help from a large woman. Sure, you help me, and I'll help you. Everybody wins. Well, almost everyone. Hi, B. Yeah, we only get quality controls on our streams about half the time. It's frustrating. Lasquo is a vendor. As with most Admiralty, Lasco is only hard on crime that doesn't pay. <laughs> I... Um, that's all... Stuff. Stuff. Hey, Lasko, enough to help in a negotiate to help you in a negotiation, which is seventy-five shells. Why not? Why not? Might be a bit of trouble coming. You looking to make some cash? Here, you know what to say. I'll say whatever you need me to, friend. Word is Dano spends her downtime knitting and her uptime hitting. Best to approach her when her hands are empty either way. Hail to Gaft. Let's convince her. Untrained Urchin will be our most stalwart ally in this conversation. <laughs> what is that thing? Terrible Urchin, Dano deals one bonus damage, oh no! When destroyed, received 30 shills, when destroyed, received 30 shills. but I can't do anything with it. It's fine. I'm trying to wealth extract at the moment. Stuff. Ah. 
Ouch. Let's see, apply two composure. I mean, it costs zero, right? Let's do that. Don't have any influence at the moment. Though so that sucks. her doubts. I'm still having trouble getting influence this round, which is real strange. Because that's not how this works. Now I can- now I'm getting fucking green cards. Isn't that supposed to be giving me- oh, it's composure, not diplomacy. Shit. My brain is not agreeing with this game. having a very hard time uh, keeping track of what I'm doing at any given time. Ugh! Influence cards. doesn't do anything. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Why is that doing 7 to 10 now? I should have put it back there. That's fine. 
Timers, I guess. Normally it would show like X2 or whatever over it though, if that were the case. getting there anyway, slowly but surely. Increases the damage. This increases the bonus damage. Spend two influence to gain two actions. Gain two influence and apply three composure to it. That's excellent. Spend two influence to apply eight composure. Let's do build rapport. Dano deflates. I'll do as you say. I just hope someone else picks up the torch. Yuni loves you. You've managed to capture a loyalty. Once a day, a member of the Admiralty will help you in battle or negotiation. <laughs> huh, that was easier than expected. Well done, Sal. That was very easy. Too easy. Hey! Dana won't be a problem anymore. Great. Some people just don't appreciate the way things work around here. Also, Yuni's taken her spot and has expressed interest in working with you. Ah, two birds with one stone. Great. You get paid 244 skip shills. Let's see. Gain three temporary power on the third, sixth, and ninth turns of battle. Draw one extra card per turn. Whenever you draw five or more cards in a single turn, gain one bait. If I was focusing on drawing cards, that'd be wonderful. Sure. Well, we already have all these done. Ah, what the fuck? Oh, I didn't click. Oh, what the hell? I'm very annoyed now. Ugh. Um, well, in any case, I'm going to take a quick BRB. I'll be back in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Alright, I'm back. Uh, we're gonna continue on despite uh, me completely messing that up. Like, I guess I accidentally bumped my mouse button? I didn't think I clicked, but apparently I clicked, so we've lost something. Let's see. Our friend Derno has found a juicy target to rob, so let's go check that out. Sal, you won't work. Little Birdie told me that a nice fat target is headed this way with enough shills to line both our pockets. Better still, apparently the idiot cheaped out on guards. Sounds like easy pickings, why loot me in? Uh, cause you're my pal? What kind of question is that? Sides! You got away with words. After it comes to blows, you got away with knives. What do you say? I like the way he thinks. 
Ash, yeah, I love mixing business with pleasure. Right? I'll follow your lead. Durno makes for the shadows at the edge of the road, and you quickly follow. The target doesn't look too rich, though. Despite what Durno said, he's nothing more than bedraggled. All the same, you step onto the path once you have him where you want him. Hold it there, friend. What is this? Just a foreman. If we convince Goad, he will dislike us. If we attack Goad, he will hate us. Like, this doesn't... We're just gonna let him pass. He's just doing his job. Ah, uh, or we can. He's just trying to do his work, y'all. We're just gonna let him go. Show us oh, uh, you look over Goad, quivering in his whole ridden boots. Uh, my bad. I thought you were someone else. Sure, easy mistake to make. Goad hurries down the road, casting nervous glances over his shoulder. What the heck, Sal? Did that person look rich to you? I told you, they were cheap. If rags is all it takes to keep goons off my back, I'd wear them too. Okay. And you fell for it like a soft-boiled egg. Pathetic. Durno skulks into the bush, likely to catch up to their prey, but at least you didn't waste your time on the poor and downtrodden. Durno is now indifferent toward you. <laughs> Let's see, debt collection. I don't want to do debt collection. Gross. Well, let's do some daily sparring. Hey, you must be getting antsy out here all alone in woods with only stick in the mud for company. Want to spar? I must be vigilant, for I never know where Hesh will see fit to deliver me. That's a yes, of course. Alright, same old dialogue. Now we've got three upgrades ready. Next time, you might just best me. I look forward to it. Until then, Sal, and I know you hate hearing this. Here it comes. But may you walk in the shallows. All right. Gain four defense. I like that. And up to three combo to deal two bonus damage per combo spent. Or gain two defense. I was complaining we didn't have enough defense cards. Right. Good stuff. Alright, so we can either do the challenging quest, which we're at high health, so not a... not too terrible a thing. Or we can do debt collection, which fuck that. You're stopped on the road by Rug, whose face lights up as she sees you. It's not the reaction you're used to. Now you look hungry, am I right? And I got just the thing for it. Delicious, non-toxic food. Yes, food on the road, huh? What's the catch? Well, it's food on the road, like you said. But I'm testing out a new recipe and I'll cook it if you'll eat it. Fungus and metal nettle brownies, coyote courage casserole, or blackened fleed guts. I also like that it's non-toxic. Non-toxic food is my favorite kind. Let's try the Coyote Courage Casserole. That sounds... brave. You get a piece of Yodi gristle stuck in between your teeth, but otherwise it's not bad. So what do you think? Pretty good for straight meat. You got a free meal, and Rug got a compliment. Seems like you both made out ahead. Healed 4 HP. Gained 4 resolve. Also now given her bedroom eyes.
Yes, big worms. <laughs> What Rudana has sacrificed in scruples, he's made up for in passive aggression. <laughs> the human looks you up and down in suspicion. You post a bounty? Yeah, wow, I didn't expect to actually get any interest. Well, I'm a hunter, it's my job. You put up a posting, I respond to it, we talk pay. Oh, right, 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 of course. I need you to take down Beto. He's one of them Rolock crawling weirdos. Uh, you need to show me proof, else it's no deal, right? Don't want you claiming credit for someone else's work. Someone else? Has another hunter already taken the bounty? Maybe I didn't say they were a, a hunter, but uh, that's fine, right? Two folks can go after the same bounty at once. I've never done this before. It's fine, just means there's going to be a mite disappointed when I scoop them. Sure, I guess. Makes no difference to me as long as it gets done. Head on over to the Slurping Snail. Word is Beto likes the taste of their Ashnu bile. Head on over... Oh, same dialogue box. Ashnu bile. This guy's a huge wiener. You recognize the tension when you step into the Slurping Snail. Like the Ashnu mucus is coagulating in the air. Delicious. It's the feeling a room gets when a hunter is working it. Now, I've said it once, and I don't much like the idea of repeating myself. Is that Egon? Is that Egon the Ghostbuster? Where is Beto? And I've said a dozen times, shove off. Ah, this looks like quite the impasse you've reached. Maybe take a breather. Jog around the block. Yeah, and who might you be? A hunter, same as you. Though I gotta say, it doesn't look like you're doing too well. The patrons, sensing trouble, bury their heads in their noodles. Papa watches you with a shrewd eye, keeping her distance for the time being. Listen, tell you what I told that jerk. I don't know nothing, and I don't want trouble. Wow, people just help this guy. They like him. Can't bribe him either. Oh, hey, there's Shell. Easy. I'm just looking for Beto. No reason this has to go down sour. It's too late. I've had it up to here with you, and I've just met you. This is crazy. Here's my number. Fuck off, maybe. A comfort to see you again. I could get another haggle baggle. Don't I already have the haggle baggle? I thought I had the haggle baggle. Did I have someone else's haggle baggle? No? Authorization, regimented, first aid. I thought I had a. I thought I already had the haggle baggle. Did the haggle run out of baggle? It's possible. It's possible baggle. Well, here, let's get the haggle baggle. Let's waggle the haggle baggle. All right. Baggle. Runk, Toko, Topo. I like Rosma. What brings you back? Rosma will help you in negotiations. 
Uh, so I'll help you in any negotiation or any fight. So we can always just pay our way to win. Competition, eh? Huh. Murder Bay has enough contracts without you needing to edge in on mine, don't it? So are you a licensed hunter or just a hobbyist? What I am is none of your business. That is literally not true. Like I said, I'm a hunter and I want this contract. Whether or not you're licensed just alters what I'm going to do about it. Information's power and I'm not inclined to give you any. Yeah, let's work together on it. Sec, where's Rooks? Requires at least relationship dislikes. Does he does he hate me? I guess he's one of the people who randomly hated me. Is there any way I can make him like me more? If you manage to provoke rooks, they will attack you on their own, and you can kill them with no diplomatic repercussion. Well, I can't really do much about rooks, huh? Alright, let's see if we can convince her to work with us. No need for that. Look, you're having a tough time cracking this crowd. Why don't we work together? Business, it's just business. Who are you trying to kid? Rooks is sabotaging your negotiation, which increases Topo's damage by one. He's heckling us. There we go. Three composer, etc., etc. Okay. Act twice with this card. Sounds like a plan. What does Crafty do? And so, oh, hides it all. Not, not good. Can I get rid of that? There we go. No. No, you don't get to attack that. That's mine. This one do. Target an opponent. Argument each turn for two damage. But then at the end of each turn, double that damage. Oh shit. like any fucking damage in my hand. There, we can do a little of damage. Yeah, I think I just don't understand the deck building very well, if I'm being honest. Alright, 
Go. I just don't think I understand this game well enough to play through it. I'm getting frustrated with myself over it. Will this work? Oh yes it will, excellent. We split the rewards, sure, but we also split the effort. Huh. Ain't often we get to network in our line of work. What the heck, sure. First order of business, though, you gotta prove your worth. I think that Dell knows something, but he's not talking. Fix it, then we'll call this mutually beneficial. Listen, I'll tell you what I told that jerk. Alright, um, so we have to do something. Sure. Feelings mutual, trust me. Unfortunately, my friend and I aren't leaving until we're satisfied. One way or another, information's gonna come out of you. Beaten or stirred, your choice. At the end of your turn, incept two intim- Wow, he's... Very intimidating. Now we're quite intimidated. Hostility cards deal an additional plus four damage. An argument is removed or destroyed. Destroy this card and draw a card. All right. Hostility cards deal an additional plus one damage reduced by one when you play a non-hostility card. Okay. I... Hmm. It might be the goatee. do much about it because my hand keeps getting filled up with his crap. Awesome. 
Alright, that's a start. That'll lower his damage significantly, at least. Alright, we're safe. Notice that I need to destroy this before a couple more turns pass. Or no, before a couple any. Whenever a card is played, Jesus. Yeah, we're fucked. Yep. Yeah, I think this is hopeless. I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna call it for tonight, and next week I don't think I'm gonna come back to this because I don't think I understand the game well enough to get past this point. Oh, shit. Uh, that means I'll be starting Chrono Trigger next week, though, so that's good. Um, I think that's enjoyable. I don't think I'm good at it. I think it's definitely a good game, though. Okay. Tomorrow is Katie with Press Any Key. The category is How Do You Pronounce That? Sunday is Community Day. Monday is Christy with Sunless, Sunless Skies. Tuesday is Andrea with Did she decide on something? I don't think she did. Wednesday is Sue with Hand of Fate 2, and Thursday is, like I said, me with Chrono Trigger. Thanks everyone for joining, um, and thanks for all your support in whatever way you choose to give it. Check out our stream team, they're listed below here on the page at truck.community, and I'll see you next time. Good night. <laughs>